A new report is shedding light on Hillary Clinton's top aide, Huma Abedin. The New York Post reveals that Abedin once worked for a radical Muslim journal which opposes women's rights and blamed the U.S. for the 9-11 terrorist attacks. One article published in the magazine reportedly argues that single mothers and gay couples with children should not be recognized as families. One America's Sonia Unitoa has more on how the magazine contradicts Clinton's stance on women's rights. One of Hillary Clinton's achievements, as listed on her website, was when she defended women's rights in her 1995 speech at the UN Fourth World Conference on Women in Beijing. If there is one message that echoes forth from this conference, let it be that human rights are women's rights and women's rights are human rights once and for all. However, a new report by the New York Post is exposing the contrary work experience of Clinton's top aide, Huma Abedin. The report reveals Abedin worked from 1996 to 2008 for the Journal of Muslim Minority Affairs, which published several articles contradicting Clinton's stance on women's rights. In fact, one article published in 1996 directly opposes the former First Lady's speech and speaks out against the right for single mothers and gay couples to be recognized as families. At the time, Abedin was listed as the assistant editor for the Radical Muslim magazine under her mother, who remains editor-in-chief, and she was also working as an intern for Clinton. In her 1995 speech, Clinton continually called for respect and protection of human rights for women. It is time for us to say here in Beijing and for the world to hear that it is no longer acceptable to discuss women's rights as separate from human rights. Another 1996 article published in the magazine by Abedin's mother again picks apart Clinton's speech, arguing the empowerment of women does more harm than benefit the cause of women. And a 2002 issue of the magazine suggests the U.S. was doomed to go through the 9-11 attacks because of sanctions placed against Muslims. The magazine states it was a time bomb that had to explode, and explode it did on September 11th, changing in its wake the life and times of the very community and the people it aimed to serve. The author of the New York Post report, Paul Sperry, questions why Clinton has kept Aberdeen as one of her top aides when she supported a platform which opposes Clinton's stance on human rights. Abedin is Clinton's campaign vice chair and could become the future White House chief of staff if Clinton wins the election. A Clinton spokesman has since said that despite being listed on the masthead, Abedin played no former role in editing at the publication. Sani Unatoa, One America News.